good afternoon, friends. Um, very disturbing to realize what is happening in this country. <laughs> I've got a mom with dementia in an old age home, and um, we've written to the, the lawyers. Our lawyers and advocate has written to the Minister of Social Development. She hasn't got the decency. She hasn't got... I don't know what to say, because obviously if you say it, it can be held against you. To answer this uh, this letter so I can see my mom. I just phoned my mom now and she said that she misses me terribly. I used to go three times a week to my mom. And she's got to mention she thinks she's been abandoned. There's been no report from from government about our old age homes, etc, etc, etc. But you've got the audacity to tell me what clothes I must wear. You've got the audacity to tell me whether I'm allowed to smoke cigarettes or not. You've got the audacity to tell people in this country whether they can use alcohol or not. I don't use alcohol. Who's actually running this bloody country? Ramaphosa, if you too weak, leave this country. Man. Let us take over this country. Let's get real leaders back into this country. You want to tell us about the, the violence? Tell us about the violence that is happening. That people with a bit of power. And you know what happens when power corrupts? Power corrupts absolutely. And you let them out like tyrants to go and traumatize South Africans, black, white, and colored. It's a disgrace what we are living in here at the moment. And as for you, Minister of Social Development, you're disgraceful. You're disgusting. You shouldn't have a position that you can't even answer our advocate's letter. It costs us money to go to advocates. Something that you abuse. Something that your government's abused. Something that you have stolen. All of you have stolen. Because while you, Ramaphosa, were sitting as deputy president, the money was being stolen. So don't come and tell me you knew nothing about it. You're just as big a thief, man. You're just as big a thief. My mother means more to me than to any of you, your government and your bloody country, that you've stuffed up. That you've stuffed up, not me. Take responsibility like the people who took responsibility and had to take responsibility for what happened in the apartheid era. You're disgraceful, man.